dear Sherlock Holmes, thank you so much for your interest in this affair. Finally, I have found some peace after knowing that the matter of the disappearance of my father, Lord Montgolf, six months ago, is now being investigated by you, my saviour. I know that you will find the truth, and you will tell me exactly what happened to my father. Your sincerely, your devoted future cousin, Elizabeth Montcalf. P.S. Please, I beg you to keep this business a secret. I really don't want your dear cousin Andrew, whom I'm going to marry very soon, to find out about it. It is very fortunate that Watson is away. I'll be able to make inquiry and keep it secret as my cousin wished. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I suppose. Here is a letter for you from your cousin, Elizabeth Montcalf. Thank you very much. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. So it is the manor of Lord Montcalf. It seems no one is at home. I'll try to find evidence proving his death and report them to my cousin, Elizabeth. I should read the letter from Elizabeth again. Dear Sherlock Holmes, I deeply regret that I cannot give you the key to the manor. I don't believe that such an obstacle will stop you, but I'm ashamed to ask you to force the home of my father. It is a real museum. I fear that the manor is full of traps, as my father lost his mental health five months before he disappeared. The answer to this conundrum must be somewhere in this room. Be cautious. Our happiness depends on your success. Your humble and grateful cousin, Elizabeth Moncalf. I need a key to open that door. Sherlock Holmes, The Mystery of the Mummy, is an adventure game for Windows, developed by Frogwares and released in 2002. The player controls Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's renowned detective, Sherlock Holmes, investigating the mysteriously abandoned mansion of British archaeologist, Lord Moncalf. It is obvious. I'll go upstairs later. I need a key to open that door. Unlock. It is the first in the series of adventure games developed by Frogwares and Viva Media. Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. This is the mummy of Kai Kayset, priest of Atom. I didn't know that Lord Moncalf had such archaeological treasures at home. Here is the famous curse of the Kai Kayset mummy. These tools might be helpful. It's illegible. All these pieces must have been taken from the tomb of the priest. Lock is old, I can simply break it.
Nice statue. It must be an extract from the Book of the Dead. Mm, burial urns. They were in the sarcophagi with the mummy. I need a key to open that door. Hmm, the lock is so rusty I could break the key in it. I need to oil it first. I need a key to open that door. Unlocked. A mummy. Quite an unusual inhabitant of a manor. Let's take a closer look at these boxes. Closed. I'll need something to open the lock on this cupboard. Sherlock Holmes is a fictional character created by British author and physician Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. A London-based consulting detective whose abilities border on the fantastic. It's locked. Holmes is known for his astute logical reasoning, his ability to adopt almost any disguise, and his use of forensic science to solve difficult cases. I'll need something to open the lock on this cupboard. A whiskey bottle. At least I won't die of thirst. I have taken everything I need. Again, a room full of Egyptian relics. Does Lord Moncalf have a big collection? It must be a knife for sacrifices. Ha! Ah, another new trick of Lord Marcat. Let's test my knowledge of Egyptian mythology. This child is Elizabeth Montcalf. Why is such a nice photo hidden? A piece of bandage. Somebody is wounded, or... It's well protected. Is there a mummy inside? It's locked. Forensic science is the application of science to criminal and civil laws. Forensic scientists collect, preserve, and analyze scientific evidence during the course of an investigation. I should know more about these symbols. While some forensic scientists travel to the scene to collect the evidence themselves, Others occupy a purely laboratory role, performing analysis on objects brought to them by other individuals. In addition to their laboratory role, forensic scientists testify as expert witnesses in both criminal and civil cases and can work for either, the prosecution or the defense.
unlocked. These documents about Lord Motcalf are very peculiar. Let's see if I can find more. These books are interesting, but I don't have time for reading. I cannot go there, it's too dark. It seems that the door is connected to that strange system. This book is in the right place. What can I do with the other one? It's impossible to push this door. I wonder if it can be done only from the other side. It's locked. It's simplicity itself.
This statue is not ancient. Well, Mumphis 11 seems to have gone for a walk. Strange, there's sand here. This old gun might be dangerous. My dear father. Elizabeth didn't tell me that she had studied archaeology. Since you returned, I haven't seen you, so I have decided to leave my lessons at university to spend a little time with you. I deeply regret that you are so angry that I chose to study archaeology. Lord Mudcap loved beautiful pipes, just like me. This cleaner is solid, but it's used to clean very strange pipes. Mudcap and his archaeological trophies. It's very strange that I have not seen any of them on the ground floor. Aha! Lord Mudcap in Egypt. I wonder who the people standing by him are. Okay, he was the one who wanted to get the Montcalf treasure. Lord Montcalf didn't like him so much. I don despair that one day you will open the door to your study to me. It could prove useful. No doubt, it is Lord Montcalf's study room. What a mess. Someone was looking for something here. The blackboard. Everything has been erased. This register is fake. Lord Moncat is trying to hide something. Some items I saw in the photos are not registered here, except for the items of no historical value. Nothing! I need something to open it. Who lit that fire? It's obvious that this manor is not as empty as it is supposed to be. It is a very beautiful picture. I can see a small crack. Here is the whole collection of Lord Montcalf. I see valuable objects which I have not seen on the ground floor. Do you know that the teacher decided to be really hard on me given your knowledge? Despite this, I'm still the best in my class. Your daughter, Elizabeth. I need something to open it. I need something to open it. Someone is wandering around the house. What is this spyglass for? Dear sir, on behalf of all the men or personnel, I am writing to inform you that we resign. We ask that you pay us via our legal representative, lawyer Mr. Smith. Our resignations will be effective as soon as you or your lawyer receive two copies of this letter. Edward, your former battler. In that case, who opened the door for me? It's only an entrance door. 
It's impossible to push this door. I wonder if it could be done only from the other side. This water is still warm. Someone took a bath not so long ago. Sand? It's large enough. The lock is rusty. Besides, if the key falls too far, I'll have no way of grabbing. Lucky me! Hunting trophy. This package is for Elizabeth Moncalf. Her father loved her very much. Where am I? In London or in Cairo? Makeup. I can use it as a disguise to look older. Oh, the hat of the famous explorer, Lord Montcalf. If it's an encrypted message, I'll need to learn the Egyptian language very quickly. My dear old friend, I am writing to you to confirm the translation made in Cairo, concerning the scroll found close to Momfi's 11th sarcophagus. It is a curse concerning anyone who might violate the tomb. Nothing really new, in fact it was there to discourage robbers. Of course it is a belief from another time and does not relate to the problems you had during your last expedition. 
You are not cursed. Dr. A. Big Alton. Open your door to me. You know how important it is for me to see ceremonial items. I love you too much to tell you this secret. God, I hope she will forgive me one day. I cannot put her in danger. There's something on the blade of the fan. No, I need something long. Need something to open it. Dawn of Gods. Association for the Promotion of Archaeological Research. I do not like weapons which I don't know. I will not take it with me. My Lord, following your last telegram from Cairo. We are sending you the second letter confirming that we will cover your expenses for the expedition you will conduct. Please, keep in mind that we insist on keeping our correspondence in total secret, so destroy this letter, after having read it. Upon your return you will partly be able to furnish your manor, to make some kind of private collection. I hope, that during the next trip, you will enlarge it. Best wishes, Jay. Sir, we know that your last expedition was more successful than you officially said. Our association is aware that you have kept some items, which you were supposed to hand over to our representatives. We are not going to make this affair public and dishonor your name, but we are ready to use any means at our disposal to get back what belongs to us. Anubis is on our side. protect a lot of treasure if they are guarded so well. Okay, I won't force it. Very nice, but it has no value. It's fake. Thank you.
Lord Mudcalf had good taste. Look, there's some gin hidden behind these bottles. Interesting. The bottom seems to be made to fit to circular objects. Somebody is using this room to sleep in. Who could it be? Maybe it's the butler who opened the door for me. That's strange. I have to examine it more closely. I wonder who lit that candle. Someone had dinner here a few hours ago. Water is always useful. I need something to open it. Strange. Thank you. 
Introduction to India India has a very complicated social system, which is defined by castes. The entire society is divided on the castes, the highest is a caste of Brahmins, then goes Kshatriya, that is warriors, the Vaishya, caste of peasant and finally Shatra, caste of slave and servers. However, the most disgraced people are the laborer as they do not belong to any caste. Note, see article about reincarnation. I finally finished arranging the treasure room. It is pretty well secured now, and I can't wait to find the stolen Anubis statue. I will just have to add it to the four hidden statues and stop the spell. I don't care about this kind of immortality. I wish to rest and reincarnate. The holy fire will allow me to access it. Wait and see. I should hurry now. This association dawn of gods manipulated me. They are tracking me. This is that sect of Anubis who wants to recover statues that I found during an expedition they sponsored. What a fool I've been. I cannot trust anybody. I have hidden my treasure. No one will steal it. I am sure that Jonathan can easily dilapidate them. Every family has its black sheep. It is not right that such a man receives my collection. I have prepared a surprise for him, if he tries to seize it. Lord Danum, Lord Mudcap was suffering. There's enough here to heal an army. Interesting. I would say a study on reincarnation. Interesting. I would say a study on reincarnation. It is advised to be very attentive with a dose. Overdosing can result in death, very calm however. Using opium as a tranquilizer usually brings very bad consequences. Dear friend, I have received your letter concerning your explanation of the superstition around cursed tombs. In fact as you already know, I have never believed that, but I have to tell you that I have begun to have terrible nightmares, which often exhaust me. People working in my manor think I am becoming crazy. Every night the same nightmare comes back. Some servants have even seen gaunt silhouettes roaming my house. I have read many books looking for something to take away the spell, but have not found anything for now. I beg you to go to Khan El Khalili and find some amulet or some other spell, which will save me from it. Lord Moncalf. Egyptian legends tell us that it is very dangerous to disturb the rest of the dead pharaohs, as a spell will be cast on the person who committed the act, as well as all members of his family including those who were not born at the moment. It is very difficult to fight against such a spell. However, the power of the spell is often limited by the power of the priest who cast that spell. Some legends tell us about desecrators that were haunted by nightmares or by ghosts of dead people from the tomb. Usually they died very soon after. In Cairo, in the Khan El Khalili there is a market of booksellers, and an unfortunate man has a chance to find some protection. Whatever, we have to be sure that it works. We note that most of civilization distinguished primary elements such as fire, air, ground and water. Some, also add dust and ice. Representation in symbols refers to it too. But however, it is possible to find common patterns. It is common to draw water as a droplet, or as waves, for the ground, often a tree, or a triangle was used, fire is usually drawn as a flame, and air, as a whirlwind. I am sure I'm turning crazy. It continues to follow me. I try to run away from it, but I can't. Yesterday afternoon I saw it. I was working and suddenly I could smell the rotten scent of a tomb. It was in the doorway. Then I tried to find it myself in the house, but it was gone. My servants look at me more and more strangely. I was at Dr's Cinder and he has prescribed laudanum for me, and advised me to go somewhere to rest. He does not understand me and thinks I am crazy. 
Laudanum helps me, but I am not sure that I will be able to keep it up. It's locked. Lord Montcalf seems to be really interested in the esoteric and mysticism. I see here a book called The Book of Sacred Magic, Isis Unveiled and Imblavat. It's just what I thought. These new bandages are just like the ones we found before. D, clockwise. S, counterclockwise. At the same time, or you will be dead. It's almost empty, but I can use it anyway. It is evidence that I can use in the future. It's locked. Another statuette? Maybe I'll find more here. Oh, Anubis, son of Set, dweller in the mummy chamber, governor of the divine house. You, god of the dead, give us strength to worship you, for the eternity. waiting to be restored. It is full, lucky me. It will be better than that poor torch. Mistake. Let's see from the beginning.
another statuette. Maybe I'll find more here. It looks like I'm about to solve the mystery. It's not a trap. The panel is open. the statuettes we were after. It is better than God. It is worse than the devil. Poor's get plenty, rich need it. If we eat it, we die. It's locked. What is it? Brahman is the key to the mystery.
it. I do not have the fifth statuette oh, to lose after being so close to victory. In fact, it is pity, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Do not turn around. I am armed. Obey me. Hands up. I am watching you, and I am ready to shoot at any moment. Jonathan Parquet, you should be very glad to meet me. The despised nephew who was looking for the treasure. But I have to tell you, it's nothing compared to the payment I will get when I show the way to the inner sanctuary. I'm sorry to tell you that this time your deduction has fooled you. I have always been disgusted with people like you. And I will kill you, although I owe you a great deal. Do not move. Together we will see the untouched sanctuary of my uncle. My God, what an explosion! Painted! These scorpions are very dangerous. I have to find a way to get rid of them. to get rid of them. I have to hurry up before they get out. The fifth statuette was in this bag. Interesting. It looks like a woman's hands. Go! Quickly! The mummy exists. I have seen it with my eyes. I can't understand what it is doing in my father's house. It looks like it knows everything here. Even me. I have never been aware of all the hidden places, which are here. It is very dangerous, I fear to approach it. There really is some mystery here. Anyway I can't believe that it is several thousand years old. However... Certainly. It looks like my dear cousin knows more than she was pretending to. I do not like it very much. I should be very careful. I hope the ring will hold me. It feels like a powder keg. This place is dangerous, but it might be a good idea to take some with me. I can't put it like that in my bag. Here is a good reserve of gunpowder. Is it Jonathan's? Interesting. I can use it as a weapon. Is it an exit? Let's try again. It seems to be number three. Let's try again. It seems I can't go through. 
through this door. Everything is devastated. It was recently used. It means Lord Metcalf is alive. But whom was he writing to? Was the mummy trying to burn the note? This paper is still smoking. This writing. If you are not afraid of the mummy, go up the stairs and touch the time. Levers? What for? A hairpin. I didn't see this woman's trinket when I came to the hall the first time. I would say something is hidden just behind it. This is an absolutely dreadful document, but I have to examine it closer. It's obvious. Is a groove. This wall can be moved away somehow. What a slaughter! Hmm, some of the pictures have a message. I will take these hooks too. Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> With all that smoke around, I'd better breathe through this cloth.
too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <coughs> Well, well, one more riddle from Lord Montcalf. You will find a few cut. Under the real region the place shines. Stay here for a long time. <laughs> what is in there? Here is the final confession. Your perseverance has triumphed, Elizabeth. How much I feared this moment. Only the mummy is strong enough to change my love for you. I tried as much as I could to save the world from the threat of Anubis. I am so sorry. This beautiful clock must be hiding something. Thank you! Thank you! Oh my god! You've activated the countdown of the Nobel bomb contrived by this malicious mummy! We'll all die and all doors are blocked! Lord Munkaf, I suppose. Is it possible to disarm that machine? The last I noticed the devilish creature making this infernal machine, but I don't know how it works! My mama will be blown up! <laughs> My mansion will be blown up! This door was probably locked from the outside by the intruder.
the mummy is trying to kill us. This door was probably locked from the outside by the intruder. Receipt number 254-321, 4. Explosive materials, dynamite production equipment. A pipette. Alfred Nobel, Dynamite Production Company, Dynamite User's Guide, 2nd Edition. Print of Le Bure, Paris, 1878. Let's check if any evidence has been left. Well, well, well. The mummy has skin on its fingers. It looks like there's something in this pedestal. Everything is locked. There must be a way to open them. which was here. Everything is locked. There must be a way to open them. Thank you. 
This axe is very sharp and heavy. Let's take this little bowl anyway. This door is closed, but I will find nothing there. The chandelier is blocking the way from the other side. An almost empty oil flask. is obvious. Interesting, but it's too dark here.
Here it is, the infernal bomb. and will soon put burning oil right above the dynamite. This container is too firmly attached to be unlocked. Falling on the bomb, it lights the fuse for the dynamite and sets off the explosion. Almost ready. It's almost ready. Almost ready. Almost ready. And now let's hide somewhere. Welcome, sirs. Ah, our party is complete. <laughs> My dear Holmes, I have spared you a lot of unnecessary investigations. Lord Moncalf never killed himself. He was murdered by his cousin, Jonathan Parker. I had the chance to escape the same destiny. Would you be so kind as to tell me how you deduced it? Oh, yes, well, I think you'll be surprised. After reading the message you sent to me explaining your absence, I made an inquiry on my side. I remember the well-known scientist, Lord Moncalf, and his shape case, an unsolved robbery in which one of his cousins was involved. Uh, to tell you the truth, this man was not very honest. The police had quite a black record on him. After returning home, I found a letter. At first, I thought it was yours, but in fact, it was not signed by anybody. However, it confirmed all of my suspicions. Here, uh, have a look. I know that you are looking for truth in the disappearance of Lord Montcalf. The last mentioned was murdered by his cousin, uh, Jonathan Parquet. You will find the body of the deceased in his own manner, under the bandages of K. Parseth, mummy, and the guilty one on the place of crime, probably pillaging his uncle's collection. Yes, quite an interesting study. I am ready to reveal the mummy, but before I do, it's necessary to ask its master. Let me introduce you to Lord Montcalf. What does that mean? My dear Watson, your suspicions were not completely groundless. The only difference was that Lord Montcalf was never going to die. That is, really. But why on earth not? Father? Good heavens!
Here is his daughter. What a coincidence, isn't it? Let me just run over the course of events, and you can contradict me if I go wrong. My charming soon-to-be cousin has asked me to investigate the disappearance of her father. For this reason, she invited me to study the mansion. In fact, the idea was much deeper. I'm very thankful to you, miss. I now have the evidence that the mummies can walk. Watson, do you know how mummies were made in Egypt? Oh, indeed I do. They used bandages and balm. Can you explain what this joke is all about? Do you believe in ghosts, Watson? <laughs> of course not. Although they are really useful to move away the intruders. Jonathan Parquet didn't notice that and has lost his life. Is he dead? Indeed, Watson. Killed by the mummy. Oh, come on, Holmes, you're joking. It has nothing to do with jokes. This manor that had to be empty was the meeting place for the whole family. A mummy, a lord, his cousin, his daughter, and your servant. All of them trying to kill each other. A charming company, in short. I think Miss Moncalf has lost a shred of her dress there, while Lord Moncalf, the most dead among us, is safe and sound. What are you trying to say? Dear cousin, I doubt that the mummy exists. In fact, if it had tried to kill Lord Moncalf, it would not have left human fingerprints on the gun as it has done. By the way, I'm obliged to say that it was you who fired that gun. Your hand still has traces of the powder. Miss Moncalf dressed up as a mummy. This child loves so much her father that she decided to follow in his footsteps and a father refusing his daughter's vacation. Oh, here is a sad case of murder indeed. Then why was there a need for your services to make you guilty? Who would believe it? I thank you for your confidence, Watson. But Elizabeth didn't know her father was alive. Rather, she was looking for four statuettes he possessed. To find out the cause of death, I would have inevitably found these statuettes, which he had hidden in the manor. The only thing left was to kill me. And it was Jonathan's task, the cousin. And it was an easy task for him. Elizabeth and Jonathan? In a plot to kill and steal? There are families where murder doesn't mean anything. Lord Moncalf is not so innocent in this case. He was not content with making everyone believe in his suicide. He filled his manor with deadly traps. And he hid in his caves the most valuable archaeological pieces that he saves for his own private use. He's ready to kill to protect them. What stupidity is! You're just a desecrator who's not even capable of understanding the priceless value of these pieces. However, I have never wished for their destruction. Nonsense! I know that you're taking me for an old fool. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I'm the only one here who really has his head on his shoulders. Do you think I didn't understand the meaning of this bloody ballet around the statuette? I understand your distress as you realize the combination of the five statuettes that you hold could free the evil forces. But you have already taken a gruesome way to death. You believe in reincarnation, then. Why not in immortality? Your paranoia has taken you into delusion, and your doctor's treatment has confused your judgment up to the point of disguising yourself as a living mummy and committing a murder. How can you make such accusations, and how can you believe such absurdities? Indeed, I don't believe at all in the power of these statuettes, as I don't believe in stories about curses. But I know a sect whose members were ready to kill to get them back. One of the executors was Parquet. Scoundrel! But their leader is Elizabeth Montcalf. Lord Montcalf understood that, and in his madness he was divided into two. Into a living mummy to commit the thing that was against his blood instinct to destroy his daughter. What a tragedy. Human nature, Dr. Watson. You should see that every day in your patients and your vacations. Tell me, Madam Watson, did she have a good rest? Oh, yes, but keep in mind that these vacations were shortened by a strange case which began with some strange noise.